most basic tenses that you would already be aware of are present, past and future. Of course, there are quite a few subclassifications within present, future and past. Let's look into that later. We look into present first. It's present continuous. It's pretty simple. As you know, something that is happening currently will belong to present tense. Mary is in the market right now as we speak. Now that is something that is happening right now. It's present continuous. Now, the other kind of present usage would be simple present. Now this is used to denote facts. You state facts that are universally known in simple present tense. Let's look into an example right now. The sky is blue. The earth is round. These are universally acknowledged facts. Yesterday it was the same. Today it is the same. Tomorrow it will be the same. So, to state such universally acknowledged facts, you use simple present. The sky is blue. The earth is round. So, that is simple present. Now, let's look into future tense. What is pretty important in future tense is the difference between will and would. Look into this example. I will be coming to class tomorrow. I would be coming to class tomorrow. What do you think is the difference between the two sentences that I just stated? Now remember, if I say I will come to class, it's certainty. 100% probability, it's definitely going to happen. If I say I would be coming to class tomorrow, it means that it is only probability I might turn up for class, I might not. Okay, so this is what you need to keep in mind with respect to future tense in this exercise. Okay, now let's look into past. Now look into this sentence, I had been reading when the telephone rang. We are talking of two events that happened in the past. Number one, I was reading. Number two, the telephone rang. When you look into this sentence, it clearly tells you that reading happened first, the telephone ringing happened next. So in that case, when you deal with two events in the past, one happened first, Followed by the next. Remember to use had with the first event. Reading here is the first event. So, in that case, you use had. We call it double past. And then whatever happened next, you state it it's in simple past tense. The telephone rang. I had been reading when the telephone rang. I had been sleeping when you knocked on the door. So this is about double past. So this is what you need to keep in mind when you deal with past tense in error identification exercises.